In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to do a paracord Christmas wreath, but this is the Solomon's Dragon paracord Christmas wreath. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again, and I got another tutorial for you today. So continuing our Christmas theme because we got about a week until Christmas. I know that's crazy and it's awesome. Can't wait to open my presents. But anyhow, we're doing the Solomon's Dragon wreath, quite different from the uh, last one we did. But you can see here, we did this one in a solid color with the pony beads for decoration. Looks, uh, this one's pretty, not bad too. The bow could have used a bit more work. Uh, that was a little last minute, but this one looks a lot better uh, in my opinion. You can still do this one with beads. It's a similar, you know, project. And I made this one a little bit larger, but overall this one turned out really nice, especially with this bow accent here we did with the um, strawberry fields color and the micro cord there. So I hope you guys will like this one. So remember guys, if you're looking for all the paracord and tools and stuff I use in the video, feel free to check out those affiliate links down below. And if you really like what I do, you can check me out on Patreon and see what I have to offer there as well. All right, with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to tie this Solomon's Dragon wreath, I've got my core strands on my jig and I've just got it tied to the end here with a simple overhand knot. Nothing special, just to hold it there. Okay, so I'm gonna set my jig right here. Now, we're gonna start with our working strands. I've got green and uh, red, just simply melted together. And I'm gonna put them behind. Got green and red here, simply melted together. I'm gonna put it behind my core strands like so. And now I'm going to start off with a single Solomon knot. I want green on the outside and red going down the middle. So I'm going to do red across the core. You don't have to do the same. You can do the opposite if you want. So red across the core strands, green on top of that, put the green through the other loop. Working with more cord today. And pull that shut, okay? And move this all the way up to the top. Uh, just leave a, a loop at the top big enough to feed the other strands through, so no specifics there. So we got that first loop done, that first knot done. Now we're going to take our um, accent color and we're going to put it like this, right through the middle and keep it right there. And then now we're going to tie another Solomon knot. Okay, so red over the core, green through there, and through to the other side, and pull it shut. Okay. Keep that right, right there, and pull it shut. Okay, now before we tie the uh, third Solomon knot, you got to take that white strand, put it through the middle, and bring it to the other side, like so. And then again, Solomon knot. So that is essentially the pattern, and you're just going to continue that all the way down the length of your bracelet, or sorry, not bracelet, your wreath. Not making a bracelet today. So put that again through the middle. And always red lead strand, or whichever your lead strand is, make sure you keep it the same. Across the core, and green through the other side. And there we go. Okay. So that's the pattern, continue tying. Go all the way down the length of your core and then we'll meet on the other end and loop it up. Okay, so we're coming down to the end of the uh, core here. And now to make it round, um, just slowly bend the, the weave, the Solomon's Dragon weave into a circle. It'll eventually form. It makes it easy if you press it against the table and just start to bend. And you'll get this nice circle. So now to finish it off, I've got my white accent in there one more time. Before I tie the last Solomon knot, 
take the two strands, the two end strands, put them through that top loop there. Like so. Okay. And now we're going to tie our Solomon knot red over the core, green on top of that. And now before we go through this side, you're going to take that end of this working strand and you're going to put it through the same loop that um, here, the same loop that we put the top other two strands through and bring it through to the other side. Okay, that's going to help make it easier to close this loop. Okay, so keep that through there. And then now just slowly pull everything together. Give that a tug on there. There we go. So that is that. Now we can tie probably one or two more Solomon knots. We won't be able to incorporate the white strand anymore, but that's okay because this part will be covered by the, uh, the bow part as you saw earlier. Okay, so pull that shut. And we'll do one more just to be safe. So I know I have a lot of excess, but that will be, that will not be included in the um, final measurements of cord used. Okay, so maybe I can do without that one. But anyways, um, I'm going to figure that out. I'll probably take this last one out. Just pull this shut. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we can probably finish it here. Cut off all the excess paracord. So that means getting rid of the red and green excess and the white excess and these two strands here. Okay, so we got all that excess paracord snipped and melted off. Now to add the bow, I'm using the uh, piece of paracord, which is the strawberry fields color. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to go underneath this one, that knot right there. And then again, I'm going to go actually underneath the second one here. Pull that through. Okay. And now rather than tie a kind of shoelace knot like we did before, I'm going to do something that's going to look a lot better. So get these strands even, or as even as you can. All right. So for what I'm about to do, there's definitely an easier way to do it, but I'm just too lazy to figure it out. So I'm just going to do this way. So I have that cord going through the middle there. And see this little gap here? I'm going to feed some micro cord through here. So I got my fid ready. Now you're going to cross these uh, strands over to make those kind of, the kind of bow shape. And then I'm going to take my fid and I'm going to go underneath here. Like so. So I went underneath and through that cord there. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of excess on the bottom. And then I'm just going to start doing some loops around and almost do like a fake whipping knot. And this is just going to secure everything together. Okay, so keep that there. Come on. Like that. You can do as many passes as you want. I'm probably just going to do three or four. Okay, so now you've done a few passes. That bow is nicely secured. I probably have to trim these a little bit. They're too long. And then on the back here, you can just simply tie it down. Like so. 
to tie whichever knot is most secure for you. Okay, so just pull that tight. It's probably better not for that anyway, but so just uh, snip and singe off the excess micro cord and we're going to trim these a little bit shorter, snip and melt, and then we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are finished. Snipped and singed off all that excess paracord. As you can see, all the ugliness is behind there. And this is ready to go on your tree, door, or whatever you please. So um, yeah, this one turned out really nicely. And I think you guys will like it too. It's still not too late to do a few more paracord ornaments. We still got plenty of time before Christmas. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like this one. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, feel free to hit that like button. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.